Hey, good morning, guys. This is Hugo Valdez bringing you guys a live update right now on a active homicide investigation that is currently underway in the Old Town Victorville area. This is just near the corner of, uh, by, the, by the Barrel House Liquor at the corner of D Street and 5th Street. The... across the so that that's where the crime scene tape begins it stretches across fifth street uh and into the parking lot of this uh ab uh, this abandoned abandoned building that uh is where the investigation is now happening at about five o'clock uh when police responded out here they did locate a deceased male sheriff's officials were able to confirm that the victim is a male and the victim is in the parking lot where you see this truck here, the, the first white truck in the middle of the screen. The body is uh, directly on the other side of that. And I'll actually move a little bit so you can kind of see the area that I'm talking about. You're not gonna be able to see the body, but it is, th it is there, it is uncovered, and it is very graphic. Uh, but you can see the evidence markers near. So the body is, uh, that bush right now is basically covering the body uh, along with that truck but there's belongings in the background that are directly in front of the building. Those appear to be the person's belongings. I've talked to a couple of people here that say that they've seen a man living there now for a while, uh, and they don't know if it's the same guy, but it, it, it could be possible. And it is, someone's just asking if it's an overdose, and no, this is not an overdose. This is definitely a murder investigation that is uh, taking place right now. Homicide detectives are here, and I wanna just describe to you guys what I was visually able to see and and I'm doing this to let you guys understand that this is not an overdose the person is lying face down on the on the on the parking on the black tar there is lying face down on top of the body are a couple of black what appear to be black bags of trash either person either trash or uh, personal items and they're on top of the body and nearby are a couple of big pieces of concrete and is a and there's also blood all around and what it appears is and and, and and there is a witness that is cooperating this information is that it appears that they try to set this person on fire after killing him based on the bags and everything that was thrown on top so that is why earlier when i went live I mentioned that normally at a crime scene, when you have the detectives, it's typical to see the crime scene investigator trucks uh, along with the uh, detective vehicles like you see over here. But not often do you see these two white trucks that are in the middle of the screen, which I don't know if exactly, well, I haven't been able to talk to them, but it appears to me that they're part of the bomb, the sheriff's bomb and arson team. And I don't know if that's why they're here uh, assisting with part, that part of the investigation because of what is being reported that this person, that they try to set them on fire. And I'm gonna show you guys just what I'm talking, I don't wanna show you guys the body. That's, it's, it's very graphic, but I need you guys to see what I'm talking about. Uh, that right there, that bulky piece of item right above that bush, that is a bag that is on top of the body. The body is right there and there was a couple of bags and again there's there's what i was able to see two large pieces of of what appear to be broken concrete that were that are there near, near the body and there's blood everywhere so it was it's a very graphic scene and a very sad scene there we don't know who the victim is but i'll show you guys more over here there you can see some of the belongings that were that are against the building right there All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to end this live video. 
once we have more information about the victim, the identity, and if any suspect or suspects have been arrested and related to this, this uh, 187 investigation, uh, we will have that information for you available on our website, bvng.com. Please uh, go check that out later today. And also there's other stories on there from around the area. Thank you guys. Uh, Till next time, this is Hugo Valdez. Stay safe.